this is Kelly from Root Pursuit Junk Journals and today we're doing a circle pocket. There aren't that many things that you can do with circles so when I figure one out I get really excited about it. But this is a lovely stamp. I think it's gonna work for this today hopefully. Mm. I want to make these pockets but these are a little bit boring and they're just so you know something. I don't know we'll see we'll see. But I think for this brown, the, not the black, the brown, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've got this new ink, it's white. Yeah, it's white. I love doing this to cardstock, like plain solid color cardstock. You just take like the really light colors or the oxides and you, and you, you know, stamp it. And it just takes it to another level. It makes it match with like antique stuff and grungy and like Tim Holtz style a little bit better, I think. Okay, look at that. Much better. Much, much, much of much. All right, I want a little this over here on this side. Yeah, just a little script. Script to do da. There we go. Should we ink it on the edges? I don't know. I've never done that. Just a little edge. Oop, oop. Now the top, don't don't stamp that. You won't need that. It will be unnecessary. It makes a fun sound. All right. Oh, YouTube's going to think I'm making music. Uh, not really, but whatever. So then I'm going to, I'm going to score it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be good and make it a straight line. You're going to appreciate the fact that it's a straight line. I'm going to go right to these scallops. We're, I really want you to do this with circles. Circles. You don't need scallops. But I, this is what I had, so I thought, oh, okay, what are you doing? You already did a line, now you're doing a different line. Oh. All right, this is what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Now we're going to have to stamp this side. Yes, we are. That's good. Mm. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Bright. Good job. A little edging. Yeah, I like that. It looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So now we've got it like this. That's how we like it. Then we could do a different color on the top. I forgot to tell you how to make a circle. So you want to, you can take like a jar or a bowl and you just trace around it and then you cut it out. I have this really cool cutter from Timu and I cannot find it. It, it looks like a little dome. It's kind of like a ruler, but then it's got like a little dome piece in the middle. And then you just spin the ruler in a circle and it makes a perfect circle. It's so easy. I really love it actually i i'll try to remember to put the link remember when i had that little thing and i was gonna write all my links and then i lost it that's how that's how it works a uh, link to circle cutter i'll try i'll try okay so now this one same stamp maybe yeah darker color because we don't need any plain i should probably we're just gonna do one anyway. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll do the whole thing. Get it nice and inky. Now this one, we really only need like the top part of it. We don't need the whole thing. Mm -mm. Ooh. There, ooh, good stuff. And we got, we definitely have to ink the edges. For sure. That has to happen. Anyway. So you've seen it a lot, like those little circles that people glue together and then they make a little pocket. This one just has like the part flap down. Yeah, I do feel like this needs like more contrast or something on the edge. There we go. I'm gonna glue this down. I think that's good. I wanna add I don't know. I do think it needs more contrast. Something down here, like a little lace or, ooh, a doily. Maybe, let's try that. I have it right here, so why not? Like, 
like something like that. Yeah. But we don't need the whole thing. Mm -mm. Try not to glue the air when I'm doing this. Woo! Don't glue the air. It's pretty easy to glue the air when you're trying to glue this thing. Okay, now we'll glue that down. Okay, okay. That's good. And then we'll glue this down. Okay. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. What if I did this? No. Too much. Too much. It's not good. Okay, now. Now we have this little pouch. This is cute. I like this. You could do this lots of ways. Every which away. I think that's it. I don't I could do a little more. So all the scallops are just totally glued. Glue your debris. I doubt you even have scallops. We're just pretending this is a circle. I just had it, so I wanted to use it. You know how it goes. Like that. That's pretty good. And then, that's it. You've got a pocket you can glue down in place. And this seems to be the tag I'm using. Come on. That is cute. Anyway, do it with circles. Yeah. What else? I'm just going to do a bunch of these. I think that's what's going to happen. What can we do with the black? I'm going to get out my oxides. Maybe like a... Oh, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to fall. Everything's going to fall. I'm going to try not to. Can she get the whole... Oh, dear. Oh. <sighs> I really want, like, ooh, the sage would be nice. No, I want this one. The tumbled glass. Kind of like a very light turquoise color. I know, look at me. Hmm. And are you going to clean up your stamp? No, not going to do it. Not, no intention of that. Now, this is the, I only need to do, like, the bottom half? This is not going to be the same color. That's all right, though. It's okay. Let's see what color we have. It's really subtle, but good, but very good. So good. I'm just going to add a little over here. Put that right there. very specific line right there. There we go. Subtle. We need it subtler. More subtler. Yeah. The more you do this with your oxides, they just, they blend. They blend and they turn back into what they're supposed to be. Yes. That's good news. Super good news. There we go. You know what we could do? We could do like a contrasting color on on the flap. What, what would you think of that? I bet that would be better. But what color? We could do this, ooh, rust. Let's try rust. Rust sounds exciting. Okay, things are happening. I know, I'm just like going over it a bunch of times. It's like something is interesting. It's all good though. Oh, I was gonna, I'm just gonna fold it this time. I'm not scoring it. What? I know. It's disappointing, really, but that's what she's done. Is that helping? Not really. No, it isn't. All right, I think I have this blue. I'll use it. What the heck with this oxide? And try 
little edge right there. And then also along here. And then we need a color to add this brown. Yes, that's the color. But what do we want to stamp? The brown, of course, of course the brown. You knew, you knew it. And we're mostly just worried about that top part because that's all we're gonna be able to see. Pretty good. The letters look quite nice. And the clock looks good too. I'm just going to add a little, some more words and shenanigans over on that side. Now, here we go. We're going to ink it. Crumbs, get out of there. So crummy. Okay. Now we're going to glue it. It's going to be Gluing, gluing. I staggered the last one where you could just kind of see that cream peeking through, and I kind of like it actually. So I might just stagger it a little. We'll see. Just a little. Just a smidge. There we go. It reminds me of like a blackboard, doesn't it? Wow, that's cool. I was going to add something to it, but. I'm not, I don't think I am. I really just like it like that. Hmm. I do feel like we could go a little crazier with the, with the walnut stain ink on here. It's already, I mean, it's kind of a dark brown already. So going for the walnut stain is, is a thing. But you can use any color papers if you want. Just throw some papers together and be like, yeah, that looks good. That looks very nice together. Good job. Is that this dark washi? Should we go for it? Should we try it? It'll be crazy. It might not look good at all, but I feel like it does need maybe a little something else. We'll try. We'll reinforce it with our glue stick. Because it's the right thing to do. Here we go. It's not going to be to the, um, the, the whole edge, but I didn't want to do it because I, I don't know how I make it even. So there we are. I like it. These are cute. And they look, I mean, they look totally different. I mean, similar, but totally different. Um, if you do, I think it would be cute with like two-sided paper for the bottom part. So if you've got some circles and you're like, ooh, I want to trace some circles out on some double-sided paper because I think we can make something really magical, um, I recommend it. I do. Yeah. Let's go like this. And then we'll come over like that. Ooh, that look pretty. If only I had a circle to trace. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> no, these are good though. You get it. Circles. Do it. All right. This one needs more ink on the top too. Ooh, let's grunge it up. That's what we're doing today. Grungy. Grungy style. I mean, it's very similar to the other one. It's just a little variation on the, the one you normally see with the little piece across the bottom halfway. And make your circles big. Make them small. Tiny or giant. Nothing in between. <laughs> okay, just make whatever you want. <laughs> It'll all be good. I thought I was done, but I'm not done. Uh, I, I'm going to use this button jar to draw a circle, of course, because I can't find my circle cutter. We already know about that. It's a sad story. Uh, I'm going to trace this whoo, with this color right here. And I'm going to try to keep this pen upright with the jar and hopefully that will work. I think it will. It's 
make our don't move don't move there we go oh my gosh the circle almost matched all right so this is going to be our circle look at us we traced it all right and then we're gonna cut it out i'm gonna cut out my tracing line so that i'm gonna cut on to the inside of my tracing line so you can actually see it here things went a little awry but that's all right hopefully it's all right we'll find out in a minute <laughs> I love this paper and I really wanted an option for my um, my new idea journal and I have a thing that I'm doing which is everything has to match in my idea journal because my other one everything's all different colors and it, I just don't it makes me unhappy that everything doesn't match. It's like all different styles and everything. So this one, all my samples, and of course I have to have a sample for my idea journal. So this is what we're using. Isn't that pretty? That is some pretty paper. Let's make a straight line. Let's make a straight line. Mm -hmm. Now, I was, I'm not, I like double-sided paper, but this one, uh, I don't like what's on the back. So I'm basically going to cover it up. I know. Like, I'm using it to show it, then I'm covering it up. So that makes no sense. That's how I'm doing it. I think that doesn't match. Okay. Something has to happen. Maybe, like, this is going to have to happen. <laughs> well, that's just the way it is. Uh, we're just going to glue it and then trim. That's how I'm going to do it. I know, it's weird. That's how I want to do it. So, lots of glue right to the edge. And then, where's that piece I liked? I kind of want this. Does that work? I like that. I'll do this piece. Okay. Close enough. And then, we'll just trim around that. And this is where distressing the edges comes in handy because it kind of saves you. I'm not a huge fan of orange. I like orange when it's contrasting with blue. Blue's my favorite color. But I'm not a huge fan of orange. There we go. Look at that. I really miss this. It's sad that you can't see that. A little sad. Hmm. And then that. It's pretty though. I'm probably not going to glue that down because I'll be sad about it. <laughs> I'll be so sad. All right, we're just going to tear this and glue it. Tear it and glue it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Things are going wrong. Now, is this what I want? Yes, yes this is. There we go. There, that's cute. You're cute. Thank goodness. Ink it. Flip it. You know what else? I need another circle. <laughs> I didn't even think that through. <laughs> I suppose you could just put it on the page like this. Da -da -da. I think that doesn't even look like it. Hmm. Well, anyway, so I've got that. I can flip this up when I want to because sometimes I will want to. What do I do? I can just, no, don't, don't cut corners. It's not cool. We're going to need another circle. Yes, we are. What color? This color. Okay. So now we can fold it out, get our marker, and trace it around. Here we go. Oh, don't write on it. It's like permanent. Hmm. Do it slowly. Don't write on your, on your 
colors, beautiful art. Yeah, right in the middle of it, just like that I did it. Using my fussy cutting scissors, right on the line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink around it anyway, so it's fine. I just don't want it to be smaller than the other circle. That wouldn't be right. That wouldn't work out very well, I don't think. Oh, I heard the laundry. Doing laundry today. Look at me. Ooh. Doing laundry. Okay. Ink it. Do it. It's like a really weird color coming out. I blended too many inks together. I think there's a little rust and a little oxide in there. All kinds of craziness. All right. You can take the cap off. It'll be fine. Ah, right, here we go. We're gonna ink around. Ooh, get a little ink there. All right, there, there, there. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cute. It's pretty darn cute. You could even put a little label right there. Oh my goodness. Off to the side with a little flower. Where's a flower? Let's find something. Oh, tiny flowers. Don't fail me now. Giant flower. This little sticker is kind of cute. How about this? You try it. It might work. It's pretty cutesy. But I'm okay with it. Probably doesn't need extra glue, but we'll try it. We'll try it. It's very floofy. Flowery and floofy. Oh. But that's the style of my idea journal. More or less. More or less. Okay. Start at the beginning. There we go. We can put it up top. Nothing stopping us. All the pockets don't have to go on the bottom. No, they don't. This one can go on the top. There we are. Do you need a tag? Maybe, maybe, small one, little one. That's cute. Look how cute that is. Too big, but it's cute. Come on. This one? No, that looks ridiculous. Oh, just pick one. This one. No, I didn't see that coming. All right, no. no. This one. That's the one. Yep. And then look, oh, I can see, that's pretty. Perfect, very good. These are other things, and these are flowers. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll let you look at that one again, it's so cute. There it is. And then these, and now for real, for real we're done this time. All right, as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.